Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Rank Roulette series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and we are finishing up the week with this crazy wacky team that we started off the week this week with, and we're going to activate our final button before we do anything today. So we've got our Patreon button left to activate. The team's done alright so far this week. We're sitting on... Six losses, three wins, and it's not going so good. I would really like to finish this episode, just break even. That would be more than enough for myself. So what I'm going to say before we get into anything, if we play two games and we get two wins, we're going to do a third to try and break even and tie it up at 6-6 six, six and give this team some credibility. Now what I'm going to do going into this episode, I've looked over the nominations for my patrons this week, and we do have potentially some mega Pokemon in there. So what I'm going to do is nominate Mega lid to go out to be sacrificed and hopefully we get one of those Pokemon that can be a mega in replacement for Mega Gallade to end the week up in this week with style give us a little bit of hope to finish up even and then go into next week with a new team and make sure guys there is a poll a post up on our community section of the YouTube channel at the minute asking you for nominations for next week's team so do go over there if you'd like to nominate a Pokemon to go onto the wheel to potentially get picked out for next week and we'll try and make a really big push next week I feel really good about next week on the channel I feel like we can actually push on and start doing something in this format make some waves and do get some really good results basically so I'm um, that's I want you to to go across there nominate some really cool pokemon nominate some of your favorite pokemon and make sure that we get some good picks for next week so without further ado we're throwing out mega Gallade. i'm sorry mega Gallade. you've tried really hard this week you've not really cut it unfortunately i'm gonna be brutally honest but let's hope we can get a nice pick so over to the roulette wheel and see what the patrons are going to select for us for this final one going into today's episode <laughs> Mega Gengar, yes, Mega Gengar, Cameron, thank you so much, yes, okay, so this makes up things a little bit better, we've got something to actually use against Xerneas, we've got another faster Pokemon that makes up <laughs> the incredible hyper offensiveness for this team, so we'll click over, we'll have a look at the team, but Mega Gengar, we've got double Ghost as well, we're a little bit more weaker to Eveltal, so let's hope we don't bump into too many of those today, as always, the team is down in the description below, there's a Raw Pace, a Poker Pace, we give Gengar Taunt, we give the Incinero, uh, the Infernape, Incineroar, the Infernape, on call. So we've got a little option there. We utilized that in yesterday's episode. Hopefully it becomes a bit more useful today. We've kept the Scarf on the Zygarde. The Greninja's got the Life Orb. Z-Move on Tapu Koko. And then the Giriasol on the Giratina. So, without further ado, my friends. Let's get into this one today. I'm feeling confident. Feeling good. Like I say. We want to break even today if we win the first two we'll go to a third and we'll try and do it we're sitting on a record of three lo three wins six losses rating is looking abysmal um let's go with something like gladian to kick us off i love the gladian music it's such a good track and we never really have it on the channel i'm going back to all these original tracks from the game so it'll be a good one and as always, if you do enjoy this content, please remember to drop a like on the video, do subscribe to the channel, and leave your comments down below. Let me know what you would like to see us do with this series. You know, how far do you think we can get? How, what rating are we gonna set a bar for ourselves going forward? I feel once we get above the 1500, that's when we can push on. We just need to get there, and we feel like we've been teetering so close to it. But falling short every time and it's really difficult like at the end of a season where everyone's got these really good Good solid teams and we're going up against them with these mad Random teams it does make it a bit harder But that is the challenge and we're not gonna bow down to the challenge. We're gonna rise to it We've got our first opponent in Adrian. So let's see if we can start with a win today That's what it's all about. He is playing the infamous Graham QR code team that uh, was featured at the North American International Championship So what better way for us to have a good? challenge to kick us off today so we've got Medichamp, Kyogre, Tapu Koko, Tapu Lele, Lunala and Nilego. We've played this team a few times. Let's see if we can make some waves here today against this team. I think our double ghost could do some work here. Uh, Gengar, definitely something that could do some work. 
Um, so I'm definitely going to lead it. We need to be careful about that Lunala. Um, it is going to try and set Tailwind up. Giratina can set Tailwind and match it at least. Um, we pressure the Medicham. Tapu Lele could come out, so that's something we need to be very careful of. 100%. Greninja could also be actually really good in this match, you know. Um, do we go Mega Gengar or do we go... Like, if the Tailwind gets set up, we're screwed, pretty much. So we need to keep pace with the Tailwind. Um, we know Greninja cannot pick up a knockout onto the Lunala. Mm. This is really difficult. Um, we could use Mega Gengar to taunt. That's a way to do it. And then bring Coco. And I think we're going to have to bring Zygarde in the back to have some firepower. At least we've got a way to shut down the Tailwind. I think this is maybe our best, <sighs> our best way to do it. Man, the challenge is tough. <laughs> we want to get two wins to kick us off today. The challenge is hard already. But we know what this team can do, what it's capable of. I'm scared of the Tapu Lele, but again, if it comes out, it means the Meta Champ isn't coming out. So that's what we're going to see. We're going to see the Tapu Lele. Do we see a Tailwind turn one, though? That's the problem. That's the big problem. I might switch Gengar out, you know, into Greninja. Tim one. Did we bring Greninja? Did we? Please, let's say we brought Greninja. We did not bring Greninja. Ugh. Greninja would have been ideal here. It would have been amazing. So, I mean, we've got two options. We can set up a Tailwind right now. Or we can take a Z-move from the Lunala. I'm thinking, what, what would you do? What would you do if you were my opponent? Um, Because we could potentially... We need to get the speed control going. We need to get speed control going. Um, I'm going to have to Tailwind, I think. And do we switch into Coco? Or do we just protect Gengar? I'm just going to protect. It's the most obvious play, but I feel like we need to try and match Tailwind at least with my opponent. Um, the Lele is a big, big problem, though. Ah, uh, yeah, this is the lead that's just the, the most obnoxious lead. So there's a side shock into the Gengar Tailwind. So we'll match Tailwinds at least. At least we've got that going for us. Okay, we're going to have to really adjust our field this next turn. Because um, we're likely going to see um, the Z move into Giratina, I think. And we've not really got anything to switch in there. Um, we could pull a double switch. I think Coco will be able to take a side shock. I don't think Zygarde is going to be able to take. And we've got to protect Giratina. And we've got to switch Gengar out into Coco, I feel. Doesn't really put us in any better position because even the next turn, the Lele is still going to be faster than Coco. So it's going to be able to pick up a double knockout there, which is the really awkward thing. Um, the only thing that we can do is try and get Zygarde onto the field. Um, Z move definitely incoming from Lunala, I would say. There's a side shock into that Coco slot. And the Z move, yeah. It's like we're being just locked out. I mean, my opponent led perfectly here to really capitalize on, on our team. Uh, is this going to be a four episode? <laughs> Okay, into Giratina, but behind the protector, we will be able to take it, but it's still going to... Uh, I mean, it's not too bad, is it? It's not too bad. Uh, it's just we've got no way to get rid of the Lele. Hmm. Because the Psy Shock just comes out onto the Coco once again. And we're just going to see... Man. A Moon Guy's Beam. I mean, we could try and get Zygarde in and protect here it's just we're locked at every point you know we're just trying to clutch at straws and my opponent's just picking picking apart our team as they go since i got take a moon guys beam that's the big thing I t i'm not confident that we'll be able to to be honest there's a side shock into the coco and yeah moon guys beam into that giratina slot Ugh. This team is good. This team is good. 
Gotta take your hat off to Graham for the concept of it. So Zygod actually takes it. Have we got an attack that we can we could sludge wave and bring in Giratina? I just don't know if a sludge wave will be enough to get the Lele. That's the thing. I really don't. Uh, Giratina is the best switching we've got for our side of the field. We hit everything. Um, and we will be able to outspeed the Lele with Zygod. We know that. So Giratina will take a side shock and it'll do a chunk of damage. So there's a sludge wave. Unless we can pick up the knockout, which I don't think we can. Um, ugh, that is pathetic. <laughs> that is the most pathetic attack ever. Okay, there's a side shock. And side shock. Okay. Oh my gosh. Man, uh, our tailwind pit is out. Their tailwind pit is out. Do they go for the tailwind again? Not really much we can do. I mean, we can try and get um, rid of the Lele now and go for a Shadow Ball into it. Protect Coco, maybe. <laughs> it just feels so difficult. Like, we've got no way around this. I'm hoping that the Lunala goes for a Tailwind here. We can get rid of the Lele, but it doesn't really help the end game because if they get a Tailwind up and we don't here, then um, they're in a, a, such a good position when that Kyogre comes onto the field this next turn where we. We don't really have any way to stall out this this tailwind, other than trying like a gazillion protect. I mean, we get rid of the lele, which is the biggest thorn on our side. I think Greninja would have been the thing to have in the back. We said it initially from that first turn. If we had that switch in, it would have made things so much easier. Uh, the lele locked into the side shock. Um, we get the Greninja in. We can pressure the Lunala heavily, especially once our tailwind's up. Um, and not bringing it here, we've been royally punished. And now we've got to get through <sighs> three turns of Tailwind. Can we do it? Um, I just don't see it. Um, we'll go for a double protect with Coco, and we can protect with Giratina. I just really don't see this happening at all. We get the double protect with Coco. Can we get a triple? Okay, Giratina. You know, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. We'll get the RNG. It's a bit sad for my opponent if we do, but I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it every day of the week if we can get it. Um, okay, so we've still got two turns. So we need... Yeah. We need double protect. We need a triple protect with Coco. Double protect with Giratina now. And then quadruple protect with Coco. Ah, we don't get it. And Giratina gets the double. Okay, so we're still hanging in there by the skin of our teeth. I mean, Gengar comes in. <laughs> He's not really going to be able to deal with the Kyogre. We need the type of Coco for that. And then switching Coco out for Gengar now doesn't really work, does it? We just go down to a water spout and we maybe get Coco back in. But then again, um, Gengar's the Pokemon that we need to deal with. With that Lunala. Um, Giratina is not taking a water spout from this range either. That's the that's the big thing. Um, and we need a triple protect with Giratina now. So we'll, we'll go for it. We'll try it. We can definitely stall out with Gengar, but it's done. It's done. It's so done. So what's my opponent going to do? I mean, this team is just set up just to pin and really restrict your options just by leading well. And I think, ah, we don't get it. Giratina, come on, you're letting the team down. There's a moon guy's beam. Unless we do. Oh, mm, ice beam. I don't think we take this. And then Gengar just left. Gengar versus the world. We can maybe take down the Lunala, but it's likely it just protects here. Um, yeah. It's definitely going to protect, I think. But we'll go for the Shadow Ball anyway. Consolation, knockout. Ah, it takes us to seven losses. That is abysmal. Abysmal. Like I was saying in yesterday's episode, I feel like it just it's like my ability to actually um, 
take these teams forward is is, is letting everything down. But um, we might get three more games today, depending. We're 50 minutes in, let's see. Okay, we're going to see an ice beam. I mean, you you need okay. We need to win a speed tie against the Coco, get a sludge bomb, take whatever like see an origin pulse potentially miss about a gazillion times, and that means they're not pressing the water spot button, which you can do once and take us down. If we win the speed tie at least. We'll get the Coco, which is nice. Take it down to one once. So it wasn't that big a, a deficit, you know. Um. And there's a water spout hitting the button. So very good game to my opponent. Again, this team coming up again and again. Um, just proven very difficult. Zygarde, 10% form, Scarfed, is like the most terrible, <laughs> terrible Pokemon I've ever ran. That Sludge Wave. I mean, like, there's just no point of that move there. We would have been better going for um, 1,000 arrows just to get better damage off. I thought the Sludge Wave would do something to the Lele. Other than just be completely whiffy, but never mind. Oh, hay fever again. I am I am in bits today. Right, let's get into our next game. Like I say, if we can win our next one, we'll go to a third one. This could continue. This could be the longest video ever. We've got Matteo up next, so going straight into it. Let's see what we can do. Let's make some waves. Just not sludge waves. Oh wow, we've got like a 2017 team here. Uh, Pelipper, Garchomp, Mudsdale, uh, Alolan, Ninetales, Stakataka, and Alolan Marowak. So, this is interesting, isn't it? Um, if we can't win against this with restricted Pokemon, then we're, we're seriously in trouble. Um, okay, uh, let's lead Inferno. We've got fast fake out there. There's no fake out on my opponent's team. Could Greninja be the one thing that does a lot of work here, potentially? Um, the other option is going for... Uh, Tapu Koko, uh, the, the Alolan Marowak does cause us a few problems as well as that Mudsdale. Um, this is why Greninja is probably pretty good here. I mean Gengar is not bad as well to be honest and um, to help us shut down a potential trick room that my opponent's probably going to go for. Um, which we could, I just worry about the the, um, the Garchomp. Um, I'm going to go Gar Gengar and Tapu Koko here. Um, so we're not actually bringing any restricted Pokemon of our own. We're leaving ours out, so keeping things fair in in the match, uh, I guess. Good luck, Matteo, and uh, hopefully this is the one where we can claw back a victory. And if we can, that will take us to seven losses, four wins. Wow, we're never going to be able to close that deficit today. We're going to need so many games. Um, yeah, it's just not going to happen, is it? No, it was six losses. Six losses? Six losses? No. No, it was seven losses. I'm not even going to confuse it. So we're going to see a lot of nine tails come out and the stack attacker. Um, let's go fake out. It's not even... Uh, okay, and let's go gunk shot into the nine tails. Let's stop this trick room. It's not even like snow warning, nine tails. We do... Hit. Do we hit? We do hit. Okay, this should pick up the knockout if it's not sashed. There's one down. Okay, hopefully this is a really quick game. Uh, the stack attacker should go down to close combat this next turn. If Garchomp comes in, Ice Beam will be able to do the job there. It depends what comes in though. I mean, even Marowak coming in, Greninja's going to be able to kind of pick apart this whole team. Uh, it is the Mudsdale. I wonder if a life orb ice beam gets the mudsdale. Uh, we'll go for a close combat into the stack attacker. Go for that ice beam into the mudsdale. We could have doubled the mudsdale just to make sure. But I'm kind of quietly confident that this might be enough to pick up the knockout. It is a very, very powerful attack. There we go. So mudsdale down. Close combat will definitely be enough to pick up the stack attacker. This has got a berry, which it doesn't. No sash either. Um, okay, I think we're getting a bit, pretty free win here. Um, Matteo maybe just coming on for a bit of fun, but all the same, it's always nice to play against these sort of teams, and nice to see as well um, in a format which is so overwhelmed with restricted Pokemon and the Alolan Marowak coming in 
to make up the last one so um, we can't really do very much with Infernape it's probably worth switching out to Mega Gengar and we'll go for a Dark Pulse Life Orb Dark Pulse Greninja's just ruined and ran through this team but we are on four wins now seven losses one two three we've got three to do so we'll play one more game after this for sure if we do win that and take it to seven losses five wins I'm sorry about the sniffing as well. I'm like so congested at the minute. Um, we will take it to another game. And if we can do it, we'll pull it back. It might be like crazy, crazy. How many games can we get in one episode? Let's see. We're going to have to be sensible about this. So we can't have a video going on for, for absolutely ages. But we'll see what we can do. Um, very good game to Matteo. Always a pleasure playing on the channel. Nice and quick there, so we can jump straight into our next one and hopefully we can find our next opponent very quickly. We'll hop over to our screen and yeah, the green screen doing its thing again. Green screen, just not behaving today at all. So, um, let's see, hopefully, come on. Come on, battle spot. Let's lock in a little bit quicker. Come on, do the thing, do the thing, do the thing. I tell you what, what I'm going to do is just cut this now and and come right back when we've got our next opponent. Save time for the video. Going against it. Um, he and we've got our next opponent of the episode so let's hop straight into team preview so we're going up against the Dawnwings, the Cosma, Tapu Lele, Groudon, Incineroar, Pidgeot and Stack Attacker is that Mega Pidgeot? probably is. Uh, the Dawnwings and Krosma Tapu Lele could be a little bit awkward for us for sure. Uh, we've got to watch out for that definitely. Um, it's probably Scarf Tapu Lele so it makes Gengar a little bit more awkward to bring to this first match. Um, do we got Infernape? Just because we could switch in Tapu Koko first turn 
um, on something like mm, uh, what do we want? Oh, we're so weak to scoff up a lele. It's trying to make the room where we can use Giratina potentially to to pick up the knockout or get a tailwind. Uh, Giratina could be useful, I guess, um, especially against the Groudon. Uh, but then again, the Greninja is very good, I think, depending on what this this lele locks itself into. Um, and then hmm, we could bait it. I guess we could bait. Yeah, where we go, Mega Gengar, Giratina, go Greninja, and do we go Tapu Koko here or Inferno? Uh, Tapu Koko, let's do that. Um, and you know we tried this in the last game, and we needed the Greninja. So if we know the Tapu Lele locks itself into um, Psyshock or psychic which we want to try and bait it into then it means Greninja can come in and it can start putting on a lot of pressure like right off the bat which is always very useful for us um, but we've got to just get our timing right which we're going to see the, the, the Necrozma and the Tapu Lele the problem is if we see the Necrozma go for a trick room I guess in this sort of team as well it wouldn't be so out of the ordinary to see that um, now I'm gonna switch Gengar out into Greninja and I'm gonna actually go for a Shadow Ball into the Necrozma because I'm more worried about a potential Trick Room than anything else and a Shadow Ball might be enough, it might not be as well but we've got to try. Um, getting Greninja in does help us. Oh, we're gonna see Ultra Necrozma, wow. It's gonna go for Moonguys Beam into Giratina I think. And that would make more sense. Oh, it just protects. Okay, that's fine. Um, I don't mind that at all. Could have went for a tailwind there. As a side shock, it doesn't affect Greninja. So, um, okay, Greninja in a decent position now because we can dark pulse the Ultra Necrozma. Uh, the Tapu Lele is not really putting on too much pressure here, um, and we can preserve our Giratina. So we'll go for a protect there because I do feel like the Moonguest Beam would come in. To that slot if the Unicrosma does attack. The Lele is pretty useless at this point. It can go for the Psy Shock into the Giratina, yeah, but other than that, it's not really doing too much. So whether my opponent gets a bit greedy and goes for that double in, um, they're not gonna though. Uh, but hopefully we are able to get rid of this Ultra Necrozma because that is the big the big piece of the pie for us here. If we can get rid of that, it does free up Giratina a little bit more to um, get this tailwind up and get us functioning for the rest of the game. Right, so there's the Groudon coming in, Desolate Land, lovely. Um, Giratina protecting, Moonguys Beam, are we going to see that? I think we probably will. Ooh, it's a Z-move. Uh, we'll be into Giratina, but behind the Protect, we're going to have to cut this, so we'll be right back when it does connect. Oh, the longest Z-move in. Creation into the Giratina behind the Protect. Uh, we're taking that pretty comfortably. And I, like I say, hopefully a Dog Pulse now is going to be enough. Life Orb Dog Pulse, I'm hoping, is enough to get this Ultra Necrozma. It should be. Oh, it's not. It's not enough. Ah, oh, that is disappointing. Mm, that means we're probably going to lose Giratina uh, this next turn. If we lose Giratina, we've got a way to, to really deal with the Lele um, in a good way. Um, and if we've got a good switch in, not really to any ghost type attacks. And we need Giratina for Groudon. Um, hmm. My opponent could just protect the Groudon as well here. Yeah, so what I might do is switch into. Switch into Gengar. Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko, I'm gonna have to sacrifice, I think, over the Gengar. So, let's bring in, yeah. Because you've got to think, if the Lele locks into Moonblast, I'm gonna hope that the Necrozma protects here. That's my thinking and the, the Groudon tries to get an attack off. No, we could have went for the 
knockout. That's that was our opportunity, I think. Can Coco take this? Yeah. If we get a miss, yeah, that's huge for us. Come on, miss. Ugh. One time he needed to miss. Come on. Hmm. But I mean, we do get Gengar in now. Um. So we put a bit of pressure onto that Ultra Necrozma shift from that side of things. Um, and a Shadow Ball Ice Beam might be enough to get the ground on. Uh, quite possibly could be. Depends how bulky the ground on is. I feel kind of confident that we could we could potentially do that. Um, Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball Ice Beam. If this goes wrong, then it's all gone wrong. And then the team doesn't have a great send off but it all hangs in the balance can we take down this Groudon life orb ice beam and a shadow ball from a mega Gengar can we do it come on and it's not over by any means here we need this Necrozma to protect it's got to feel like it's going to get picked off here 100% but there's a good chance it won't as well nah, it's not protecting I think we, we're gonna get it. So the photon guys will pick up Gengar. It's also in the Cosma. I hate you. But the Groudon's too much of a threat. And when Greninja can come in. The problem is it's have a Lele coming back onto the field now. Oh my gosh, we don't even take the Groudon down. That's it. It's over. It's over. Our dreams are done. Yeah, that is it probably one of the worst weeks we've had on the channel for a while with this roulette series but it's been a lot of fun nonetheless uh, the team the composition uh, the selections that we've had have done super well this week they've been a lot of fun but just not cohesive at all and not made up a very good team I mean there's been the sparks obviously like Giratina has been amazingly good um, but other than that, it's been a bit of a struggle, hasn't it? We've had some really good games, though, so we can't we can't discount that. We're going to see the Moon Guys beam uh, from the Ultra Necrozma. We needed Greninja to be able to pick up that knockout with the Dark Pulse. We actually take that with Giratina, which is insane. Um, and knowing those calcs earlier on, maybe would have changed how the game would have panned out. Maybe we didn't need to switch out Giratina when we did. Dragon Claw growled on as well just to top things off but very good game to my opponent and we'll end things up there remember guys we have the post up on our community thread at the minute on the channel so go over there nominate your pokemon for next week and throw in some really strong pokemon we need some strong pokemon to come back next week and do some work on the ladder i want to start getting and climbing the ladder um, and we'll start doing that next week so give me a helping hand with some of those great nominations of yours keep them coming i hope you've enjoyed this week on the channel we've had a really wacky team so um, we're going to hit the reset button and come back stronger next week have a great weekend whatever you're up to and i will see you all for another episode very soon so until then take care and bye bye